everyone, I'm Sandra Matos. Welcome to IO2. First up, a woman that weighs 600 pounds hates her life. Let me ask you, what do you do to stay healthy? So you guys are probably wondering, what is Sandra doing outside? No, I don't love being out here freezing my hiney off. I'm here to give you the news. We had electrical problems, therefore the show must go on and it goes on outside. Amber weighs 660 pounds. She's confined to a life at home with her parents taking care of her and her boyfriend of two years. She will be featured on season three of TLC's My 600 Pound Life, which debuts January 7th. The show follows eight obese adults. All of them will have to go through high risk gastric bypass surgery in order to lose weight. She's unable to walk or stand for more than a few minutes at a time. She has pain in her back, shins, and must be bathed sitting over a toilet. She says she feels like a nasty, yucky monster. She feared that she would never be able to change by herself, and so she's doing it with the show. She admits that she's killing herself by overeating, but hopes that by having surgery, she'll be able to live once again a normal life. Hopefully this works out for her and her weight loss struggle is successful. Do you have a healthy diet? What's your favorite thing to eat? Let me know in the comments below. Next up in Queens, New York, hundreds of officers were outside the church for the funeral of Officer Rafael Ramos. When Mayor Di Bellagio was saying the eulogy for the fallen officer who got ambushed last week, they turned their backs on him. Police union officials have made it publicly known that they feel his actions have contributed to this kind of killing. More than 25,000 officers paid their respects. Here at I.O., we would also like to send out our condolences. Next up, a baby Jesus was stolen from a nativity scene, his head was severed and replaced with a pig's head. A real pig's head. And the mayor is outraged. He says the desecration has all the elements of a hate crime. The parish priest was the one who noticed the statue had been taken. This was at the Sacred Hearts Roman Catholic Church on Christmas morning. Investigators are seeking help from butcher shops and pig farms. The perpetrator can face animal cruelty charges. Meanwhile, a good neighbor stepped up and replaced the baby Jesus with one of her own. And there you have it. That's what's going on in the news. I'm Sandra Matos. Thanks for watching.